Every morning at breakfast, she would sit with her two-year-old and her four-year-old wondering, what would they eat for the day? Imagine for a moment being in a situation where there's government turmoil, where there's gangs around wanting payment for security, where there's no economy for the family, there's no choice but to leave. Imagine for a moment your choice would be to walk for 21 days with your small young family for refuge, for a hope, for maybe a better place. I'd like to tell you about a woman I just met at our ADRA protection point. She was telling us of the journey that she had been on with her two beautiful children, ages two and four. She was living in Venezuela for many years and the economy for her family had become so difficult, she couldn't provide food for her family. And so they had to make a decision with the political unrest, she realized there was just no way to survive there any longer. So she decided to pack their bags and go for a walk, taking 21 days. But little did they know that they weren't alone. They were part of a migration that has caught the world's attention. There are thousands in a day that are taking a very similar journey where they're going to a place of hope, to another country. And so they start, whether it be Venezuela or Ecuador, they start in various places and they walk. And then they end up in Colombia. And there in Colombia, they, they have to either pay to take a boat across to the Darien Gap. And that Darien Gap, many of you have heard, is a very horrific place. And so if they can afford to take the boat over, they will do that. If, if not, then they wait. And this young lady told us the story of how her husband would take the trek through the Durian Gap first. And if he made it across, he would establish himself and send funds for the, for the family. But in the meantime, she and her children would wait there on the beach. They would try in any little way they can to build and make some money, some funds, so that they could help, but they would wait. And there while she was waiting, she met us at the ADRA protection point. At the ADRA protection point, we provided Wi-Fi so that she could get on a computer to communicate with some of her remaining family back in Venezuela. And there, her phone was able to be charged for free. It was a service we provide. There, her children could have activities and engage in activities for the kids to get their minds off of the journey they were on. At the ADRA protection points, migrants find water for drinking, showering, for cleaning their clothes. There are places for medical services, for psychosocial support. There are places there to receive information, even legal counsel, whatever we might possibly be able to do. All along this incredible journey of visiting the protection points, we heard the words, thank you. And we promised that we would pass those words on to you today. Thank you for your continued support. We are all migrants along the journey looking for a better place. But those individuals that we've met were so thankful for what we were able to do through your support. Would you consider today continuing to partner along this journey? Considering how God might impress you to step in, to maybe give just a little extra this month. Thank you for your continued support. May God richly bless you.